So, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts video. We're almost halfway. We are, well, well we're not actually. We've got six more videos to go and six more, six more fantastic videos, I'm not going to lie. Today's video is an interesting one. It's the first player that I've seen without a listed team or position. I have no idea why. Is it because he retired? Is it because he retired? That's, my, that's really my only explanation. I don't think he's going to be kicked out of the league. I don't think he would have quit. I mean, he's number 56 on the list. His name's DeForest Buckner. I have absolutely zero clue about what we're going to hear, see, or feel during this video, and that's the fun of it. So let's go. The default, DeForest Buckner. Defo. <laughs> He's huge. And Defo sweeping him up after that. Forrest is really an anchor on defense. Gotta stop this run, man. He's really just such a complete defense alignment. It almost looked like he was gonna punch him in the head. <laughs> what, what? Did you see that? Defense alignment. Look at this shit. Oh, uh, maybe not. <laughs> He's got pace too. He's got handles, he can pick the ball up. A guy that can win with size, he can win with technique, he can win with smarts, he's explosive. Last season, including the playoffs, DeForest Buckner had three forced fumbles. DeForest Buckner sack, forced fumble. Five fumble recoveries and 10 sacks. He was named second team all pro. That's a lot of work, bro. Ten sacks, five fumble recoveries, and three forced fumbles. Those are some. Those are some big plays. Good rush, baby. The sack was the hardest hit I took. A big landed right on my back. It's incredible just how well he moves for his size. He's not somebody that you can just put a small athletic offense alignment on because those kind of guys are going to get beat by his size. Where at the same time, you don't just want that bruiser, big guy who can't move because his athleticism is going to win in that matchup. He's a hybrid. Ooh. Oh, Four, shit, bro. Best defensive line. Got past him pretty easily. The Forest was traded this offseason to the Colts for the 13th pick in the first round. That's a big hit, bro. Kirk Cousins is feeling that. Alright, so I feel like he's definitely his first trip to the top 100. Not a lot of people know a huge amount about him, but he is a, he's a force to be reckoned with on the field, especially in his position, um, with his athletic ability. Now, now let's look him up. DeForest Buckner is 26. Oh, I knew he was big, but I didn't know he was this big. Six foot seven. He's two meters tall, guys, and he's playing American football. Being able to move like that, with the weight he's shifted, 134 k. How fucking strong would his tendons and ligaments need to be to literally carry this body around in the way that he does? He's 26 years of age, six foot seven, 134 kg, from Hawaii. Went to Oregon, got picked up with the seventh pick of the first round of the 2016 draft. Played at the 49ers from 16 to 19. And if we can just get a little bit of information on his trade, he signed a four year, $84 million contract extension with the Indianapolis Colts, making him the second highest paid defensive tackle. Well, all right then. On November 27th, 2020, which was my birthday, 
which was literally a month ago. Buckner was placed on the reserve COVID-19 list after testing positive for the virus. Well, I don't know what happened after that, but he's played 11 games this year, 11 started. He's got a combined 37 tackles, 20 of which were solo, four and a half sacks this year, bringing his total sack count to 28.5 over five seasons, which is up there. What do we got for a 40 yard dash? Six foot seven, 140 kgs moving at a 5.5. Yeah, that's why he's causing carnage. Yeah. Yeah, that that's that's that oh my oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. I've never seen hands this big ever. Ever. 11 and 3 quarters of an inch. Huh? Huh? Guys, that is 30 centimeters long. Mm -hmm. That is, that is what I just don't get. Is is that the width? Is that the width from the thumb? to the finger, it can't be, it cannot be. Because if it is, guys, that is fucking ridiculous. That's about 30 centimeters there, okay? My hand reaches to that. His hand is gonna reach the whole entire length of this bottle. He's six foot seven. No one's gonna get past him. No wonder he's getting these sacks. No wonder the quarterbacks just cannot get away because his hands are fucking huge. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look that up. I have to. Oh fuck. <laughs> DeForest Buckner's massive hands tie. DeForest Buckner's massive hands ties NFL combine record. Buckner's hands measured 11 and 3 quarters of an inch, tying a combine record originally established by Tampa Bay Buccaneers tackle Gosta Chirilis. Yeah, no wonder. No wonder I hadn't seen it, because he's the fucking record holder. Growing up, I kind of always knew I had big hands. My siblings used to make fun of me all the time. Coming here, I knew I'd measure at a pretty big size. I was trying to shoot for that 12 inch mark. <laughs> okay, but he didn't quite get there. Um, Buckner's hand size is the same as a standard sheet of paper, 11.75 inches tall. In comparison, the hand size of Houston Texan star defensive end JJ Watt was 11 and 1 8th of an inch when he came out of Wisconsin. Ohio State defensive lineman Joey Bosa, considered the top lineman in that draft, measured a hand size of 10 and 1 quarter inch. So DeForest Buckner has a hand size of, of 2 inches bigger than Joey Bosa and almost a whole inch bigger than JJ Watt. Jack, really? JJ Watt? Bigger hands than JJ Watt? Alright then. Six foot seven, 291 pound Buckner is being compared to Arizona's Pro Bowl defensive lineman Calais Campbell. I'm not surprised. The six foot eight, 300 pound Campbell posted a 40 yard time of 5.04. Buckner's time was also 5.04. Okay, let's continue. Actually, let's not. Let's, let's have a look if we can actually see, see just how big this guy's hands are. I did see a tackle where he wrapped up Kyler Murray. It might have been this one. <laughs> DeForest was traded this offseason to the... Does that hand look any bigger than the average? Probably not in this particular shot. But having read that he ties the record for the biggest hands ever at the NFL Combine, that hand is fucking massive. And it's not going to let you go. It is literally going to wrap around a wrist. It's going to wrap around an ankle. It's probably going to wrap around a fucking bicep. I'm not going to lie. That's, that's unbelievable. Wow. DeForest Buckner, no idea why he's not listed as an Indianapolis Colts player right now. Maybe that's an editing mistake. Maybe I've just found an editing mistake by the NFL. Not good enough. But anyways, guys, have a fantastic day. I've really enjoyed this set of reactions. We started this morning at 61. We've finished at 56. By my calculation, that's 6. 61, 60, 59, 58, 57, 56. Six reactions, an hour and 10 minutes. And I absolutely loved it. So guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to once again shout out my my, uh, my 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 tertiary education provider that's allowed me to study and become a personal trainer, the NZIS. I like this hat better when it's backwards. And I hope you guys have a fantastic night. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I, uh, I actually reckon it might be time to start bringing out the old uh, the team jerseys, if possible. If I have an opportunity to rep the team that I'm going to be reacting to, I will. So guys, you can look forward to all that and more. Have a fantastic day, like I've said many times before. Thanks for watching. 
and peace out.